Hello Miss Friends, this video is dedicated to flat brick stitch because I saw that uh, you often leave many comments on my Italian channel uh, where I have made a lot of uh, basic video about basic technique, uh, techniques uh, like just like peyote stitch or how to make a triangle with peyote stitch, how to make a, a whole shape with peyote stitch or brick stitch or Russian spire, yes I have a lot of them, <laughs> I know and uh, you, you often ask me to do the same video in English and uh, maybe one month ago <laughs> the last request was a, a girl who asked me about uh, making a video about the, um, the brick stitch and so uh, I did it <laughs> I want to start with the brick stitch maybe because it's one of the easier technique with beads and uh, in this video I will show you how to work with flat brick stitch so you will see how increase and decrease the number of beads on a line and I don't want to speak anymore but I want to leave it to the tutorial <laughs> see you soon bye bye before starting the tutorial just few words because I just want to show you how flat brick stitch and flat peyote stitch are similar this first shape is made with brick stitch and the second one is a flat peyote stitch. But if I put the peyote stitch in this position, you can see that it can be made, this, this beadwork, the second beadwork can be made with a brick stitch as well. That's the same. And the same thing if I put the brick stitch in this position, it can be made with peyote stitch. How can you choose uh, which is the, the more comfortable technique to use? First of all, it depends on you. And the second thing is that if you have to make something with this shape, so a flat rectangular, okay, it's better to use uh, uh, peyote stitch because uh, for many of us it's easier to use peyote stitch but if you have a beadwork when you have to increase or decrease the number of beads for every line then in this case it's more practice to use brick stitch and that's I think the only difference between these two techniques now let's start with the tutorial let's start putting on the needle two delicate beads in two different colors and carry the beads to the end of the thread. So through the beads two or three times. The beads must be placed side by side and if you want, if you prefer, you can make a knot using these two parts of the thread. I'm going out from the violet bead, as you can see. Then pick up a black bead and sew through the violet bead in the same direction. The black bead too must be placed at, at the side of the violet bead, okay? Now, sew through the black bead. Now pick up one violet bead and sew through the black bead. I have repeated these steps and so now I have 13 beads, one side by side, okay? And I'm going out from the black bead. I pick up one black bead and one violet bead. Now be careful. If you watch at your beadwork, you can see that there is a thread here that is a sort of bridge between the two beads. Okay, and there is a bridge of a thread for every pair. Of beads. Now with my needle I have to sew under the second bridge. So this is the first bridge between the black and the violet bead. Then there is a second bridge between the violet bead and the next black bead. And with my needle I sew under this thread. I pull my thread and that's what I get. Now I have to sew through the violet bead from the bottom to the top 
in this way. At the beginning of every new round, I suggest you to make a step more to fix the black bead in a perfect way. And this is the step. You have to sew through the black bead from the top to the bottom, then sew through the violet bead from the bottom to the top. Now the two beads are in a good position, in a perfect position, and we can go on. Now it's easier, so <laughs> pick up one black bead and then sew through the bridge, the next bridge between the black and the violet bead in this way. No matter di the direction you sew under the bridge, you can choose the direction you like. Pull the thread and then sew through the black bead from the bottom to the top. Now it's time for a violet bead and you have to repeat the same steps until the end of the line. As you can see I have just finished my line and I have used all the bridges I had between the beads. Be careful to the sequence of beads because if you want to get the same picture like this one you have to work uh, like in a mirror. So, as you can see here, there is a sequence and when you reach the middle of the, of the beadwork, the middle of the line, you have to work like in a mirror about the sequence. And so, as you can see, I have started my sequence with another violet bead, then black bead, then violet black, violet, black, <laughs> okay? And in this way you can get this particular um, very simple picture on, on your beadwork. Now to start another line, another round, we have to work in the same way and I want to show you the first steps. So, pick up two beads, one black bead and one violet bead. You have to skip the first bridge and you have to sew under the second one in this way. Pull the thread and then sew through the violet bead from the bottom to the top. Now I suggest you to fix the position of the first black bead. So, sew through the black bead from the top to the bottom. Then sew through the violet bead from the bottom to the top. Now we can start adding some new beads as we did before. Now I want to show you what happened when you have already finished the first half part of the beadwork. Now you can see the whole beadwork, but you have to apply these steps that I'm going to show you when you finish the first half part and then you have to repeat these steps when you finish the second half part. So now I want to show you how to finish the point of this shape. As you can see here, I have four beads on my line. I put on my needle two beads, one black and one violet bead, and I sew under the second bridge here. I pull the thread and then I sew through the violet bead from the bottom to the top. I fix the black bead, sewing through the black bead from the top to the bottom and I sew through the violet bead from the bottom to the top. Now I have to add the last bead of the line, so I pick up the black bead and I sew under the last bridge left. At this point I sew through the black bead from the bottom to the top. Now I pick up two black beads and I sew under the second bridge in this way. I sew through this black bead from the bottom to the top and then I fix the position of the second black bead sewing through this black bead from the top to the bottom and again I sew through the black bead from the bottom to the top. The simple way to create a point here is picking up a black bead and sewing through the second black bead. You can sew through these uh, three beads uh, several times uh, to fix the last bead on the beadwork and if you want you can use this last bead uh, to create uh, a loop. 
so that this shape can become a pendant if you want and you just have to go outside from the last bead pick up the number of beads you need to create the loop but it depends on how big you want your loop to be and then sew through the bead you're starting from if you want you can sew through the beads of the loop several times to fix the beads now you have to make the second half of your beadwork so with a needle you have to sew through all the beads until you reach the central part because now your shape is like this so you have to reach the last line and you have to work as you saw before and you have to add this ended part with this last step to create the point on the other side of the beadwork before tying off the thread i suggest you to make some notes following these videos or you can just sew in through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork and then you can cut the thread. The same thing is if the thread isn't enough to finish your beadwork. It happens very often and then you have to close the work sewing through the beads several times or making some notes. I will leave you the link of the tutorial uh, that will show you how to make notes to tie off the thread in the info box and then to add new thread you just have to sew through this new thread uh, through the bits several times until you feel that the thread is fixed so when you pull the thread the thread is fixed on, on the beadwork and then you can reach the last bead you add on your beadwork and starting again adding some new beads until now we have seen how to, to decrease uh, the length of your lines using brick stitch but I also want to show you how to increase the length of your line so imagine that right now I want that this line is longer than the previous one and the steps are really very very easy pick up one bead no matter the color <laughs> and sew through the black bead from the bottom to the top if you pull the thread then you will see that this new bead uh, will be placed on the side of the previous one if you want your line to be longer then you just have to sew through the violet bead picking up another bead, a black bead for me and sew through the violet bead Pull the thread and then sew through the last bead you have put on your beadwork and so on until you reach the length you want for your line. Then you can work on this new line like we did before for the next uh, line for the next round. So every step is perfectly the same. I hope that the tutorial can be helpful and see you soon on the next video. Bye! Have a nice video!